Look at this. This is the Porsche 918 Spider. I'm extremely excited to tour this with you guys. This is the holy trinity of the three supercars that a lot of people rave about. We've got the McLaren P1, the LaFerrari, and we've got the Porsche 918 Spider. This is the most expensive, fastest Porsche that money can buy. And I'm extremely excited to tour this with you guys. Now we are so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers and it would really help this channel a lot if you guys subscribed or even commented below. If you like my videos, great. If you don't, please just comment because it really does help the algorithm and I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. For now, let's begin this tour. the engine bay to show you guys the engine I would have to take it to the Porsche dealership for us to be able to open it up and show you so that's quite unfortunate today but this Porsche is worth 1.7 million dollars now it's definitely the cheapest of the Holy Trinity but it's definitely not the slowest and I'm going to show you why. the 918 Spider has a 4.6 litre V8 engine it has two electric motors and it produces up to 887 horsepower in total. Remember when I said it had electric motors? Well, you can actually drive this car on the electric motor itself. It can actually go up to 19 miles just using the electric motor. Now, if you're ever worried about running out of electric power, this car has a regenerative braking. So, which actually means that each time you actually brake, the brakes recharge the electric motors in the car. Or you can refill it the normal way or recharge using the electric port on the other side. Now, if you're wondering how are you gonna open this, it's not easy. You don't just twist it. You have to press this button right here and it opens here. And as you guys can see, it's finished off with that carbon fiber here and it's got the fuel right there for you to be able to see it. I mean. If I look at this car, it does look magnificent. I mean, look at the lines, look at the curves, the detailing, the carbon fiber everywhere, which I'm gonna to get to. Let's carry on here. Now, when I move to the front, I cannot believe this car is over 10 years old. Porsche has a way of making sure their cars age very, very gracefully. Now, what they did with this car, they wanted to keep it very simple. They didn't add crazy vents, similar to the Maserati that we actually toured on the channel. They wanted to keep it elegant. Just like the Maserati as well, this car has a frunk. Now, with the frunk, there's a lot to talk about here. I mean, let's talk about the storage. This has so much more storage than other supercars and so much carbon fiber. Now this is a special Wysik package. The normal 918 Spider doesn't have this much carbon fiber, but this one has so much. I mean, look at it. It's here, it's on the trunk, it's everywhere. And you're gonna see it throughout the car as well. Another thing that I didn't actually mention, which is in the front, is this wind splitter. Now, you can actually adjust this on the top, which I'm gonna show you, but look at this, it's all carbon fiber. You adjust it on the wind mirror, for aerodynamic reasons. I mean, check this out. You just put it in here, click it in. It's crazy, right? Apparently, Porsche claims that you can actually fit the roof in the front, and there's actually two pieces, but I don't know how we're gonna be able to do that. As you can see, it's like super awkward, so I'm not sure how that can be done, if I'm honest. Now, speaking of the roof, it's actually quite difficult to latch this roof onto the car and take it off. You actually have to press this button to be able to take it off. And I had to have some assistance to do that. It's not like the other Porsche that we actually filmed on this channel where it was electric. So, it, I mean, it, I asked the question, would I pay $1.7 million to manually remove the roof myself? Because it takes a lot of work. But to be honest, when I look at this Porsche, I bloody would. <laughs> Now, if you look at the side of the car, you've got the e-hybrid. They wanted to make sure that we knew it was a hybrid car. The fact is, if you look around the e-hybrid, you see this green and it's acid green. That's the color that Porsche actually call it. And then behind the wheels, the brake calipers are also acid green as well. Now, the wheels itself have a center lock. With normal wheels, you would see screws here, 
but this one has a center lock. So if you needed to remove the wheel, just like F1 cars, you would actually have to remove this center lock and take out the wheel. I mean, it's pretty cool. I really like this feature. Now, just as we saw on the passenger side, the center lock was blue. On the driver's side, it's actually red. Now, that's because if you are racing and your crew needs to replace your wheels, they know exactly what side they need to replace. I have never ever seen an exhaust like this before. This is a top mounted exhaust. This is gorgeous. The way you look at this, I mean, the vents, this is just a work of art. Now, when you turn on the car, this sounds crazy because the exhaust is right behind your head, but it does sound a little bit weird because it's a soft limiter exhaust. This wing is absolutely humongous. It's finished off with the carbon fiber that we've seen throughout this car. Another cool feature is that this can actually change shape depending on what race mode that you're actually in, which you can control in the infotainment screen. And you can bring this down in the infotainment screen, which I've shown you in the previous Porsches before. It is exactly the same. So I cannot wait to show you guys that. Now I might have lied to you earlier about not being able to open the engine, but you can only open this small area here and you can do it with the button on the side of the driver's seat. But this is where you can actually change the oil. You see this rear diffuser here. I mean, it's absolutely aggressive. I mean, look at the detailing, the curves, how much space it takes. Very, very aggressive. You can only get that in the YSIC package. Now, speaking of the YSIC package, you can only get this leather door handle strap if you get the YSIC package. Now, I've opened the door up for you guys to actually see. I mean, look at the carbon fiber, that gorgeous red leather. And then if you go here on the buttons, you can actually see on the driver's side, you can control the engine bay button and the trunk as well. So the bucket seats in itself have got that gorgeous red leather, the 918 Spider, and then I've got this nice Porsche logo, the stitching on it. I mean, I cannot believe, I keep saying this, that this car is over 10 years old. It's obviously been well kept, but the way they actually looks, it looks like it was released in 2024. Now enough talking about the seats and the interior, let's get into the car. So before we actually go onto the wheel, I wanna adjust my seat so I can get a bit more comfortable to talk about the amazing things that I hear. But the only way I can do that is if I press this button here, it's electric and I can actually go forward. And I mean, it takes a really long time for it to adjust. I mean, the thing is, a lot of people have actually complained that the fact that you can actually move the seat up, you can move it down, move it forward and backward, but you can't actually fix the backrest. And I can imagine if you're slightly a bigger build and you're not petite, it can be quite uncomfortable. Now the wheel itself has got that suede finish. I mean, it's beautiful. You've got the Porsche logo here, standard, but these are the buttons that I want to talk to you guys about. This is cruise control, manual, and Porsche calls this button Joker, the Joker button. And I'm not sure why, but from what I know is that you can actually control and tr train this button to actually do anything that you want in the car. So if you want to push the button, it can bring the car up, the tire pressures up. It can bring so many things and features into the car, but you have to train the button to do all the things that you want. So if you wanted to press the button, it can go into racing mode just like that. So that's a pretty cool feature. Moving on to this space, so you've got this, this control here where you can actually pick what racing mode you want to drive in or what driving mode you want to drive in. So you've got electric, hybrid, sport, racing, and this red button here, it's for hot lap. So if you are doing a lap and you want that extra boost, you press that button and it will make it happen for you. Now, we actually have this here. This is actually pretty interesting because normally in any other Porsche, it'd be here right in the center where you can actually control, you know, you've got drive, you've got reverse, and then you've got parking. I find that quite bizarre that they've placed it here. I'm so used to it being right here in the center. So the thing about this infotainment screen is that it's pretty interesting. The fact that it's seamlessly integrated into the car, you've got carbon fiber around it, but these buttons are not actually buttons. I like the fact that it's like that, but they lag a lot. It can be quite annoying, but this doesn't feel very cheap and they actually disappear when you take the key out. I mean, how cool is that? Another fact, which is in this infotainment screen that you guys will see is remember I mentioned to you guys the Joker button. 
I mean, check this out. So we've got the interior here and you can actually train the Joker Q, like I said to you, where you've got all these choices that you can actually choose from, which is pretty cool. Now, the exterior of the car, I mentioned to you guys about the rear wing. You can actually control it here as well. You can push this button and the rear wing comes out. I mean, it's retracting now. And then you can push it again to get the rear wing back into the car, which is a pretty cool factor. So you can actually see the production number right here of the car and it's 141. It's on this carbon fiber right here in the center. You also have it here and you've got 141, which I think is really, really cool. But basically with this car, there's no storage at all. You can barely even fit your phone in here. I mean, you've got a USB port here as well. And then the rear view mirror, I mean, if you put the roof back on, you barely get to see any view. Uh, I think that can be quite disturbing for me. I don't think I'd quite enjoy it, but you don't have any storage in this car at all. And then here, you've got space here. You push this button right there, and this actually opens up a small amount of storage. And then we've got the fire extinguisher that we always see in supercars these days. And if I see a fire extinguisher in a car that I like, it's definitely not the car for me. I can tell you guys that right now. Now I'm gonna show you guys the key, the outside of the car. But before I do, I'm gonna pump the exhaust on for you guys. Wow. Now that you guys have seen how crazy the 918 Spider sounds, I want to show you guys the key. I mean, it's the same shape as the car, which I think is pretty cool. I actually do like the way Porsche keys are shaped. I'm really, really happy with this. It doesn't feel too cheap. Now, I've thoroughly enjoyed showing you guys this car. If you guys have any questions, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next week.